Hi, I'm Barbara. Welcome to this week's episode of Craft Corner Kits to Go. This week, I thought it'd be fun if we could make a little refrigerator magnet that's a crab out of a shell. So for this project, you're going to need a large bivalve shell like this. And we'll see that you get one in your kit. You're going to need a piece of cardboard. This is cardstock in red. You're going to need two pipe cleaners that have been cut up. This one's been cut in half. And the other one has been cut into eight little sections. So you need them. You need some glue dots. You're going to need some scissors and a pencil and a magnet and a couple of Google eyes and you need to provide your own red acrylic paint. So to start with, you're going to need to paint your shell and let it dry. So just take your paintbrush and paint your shell. Um, you don't have to paint the back side, just the front side, and you want to let it dry. After it dries, you're ready to start. And the first thing you're going to do is take your dry shell and lay it on the cardstock and trace around it. You have the shape of the shell on your cardstock. Then you want to take your scissors and cut out around the lines you just traced. So you have a piece of paper or a piece of cardstock in the shape of the shell. So that's going to be your backing eventually. So the first thing we want to do is we have this shell now. We're going to turn it into our crab. So I'm going to take glue dots and put them on the eyes and put the eyes at the very top of the shell up here. So we do that and give it two big eyes. Then you want to take your longer pieces and take it and bend it over and fasten it together about an inch inside. So you have a loop like this. Then you're going to bend your loop down and make that twist. That gives you sort of a claw. So that I'm going to take a glue dot and glue right at the top of my shell. So I'm going to put a glue dot inside my shell and then smash my pipe cleaner end into it. So there I have one claw. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the other one. Come down here about an inch, twist it. Then go back to where the bow is and push it down and twist that. So you have another little claw 
And then you want to put another glue dot at the top on the opposite side from where you put that one and press your um, pipe cleaner into it. So now we've got two claws, okay? So he's got eight legs besides his claws, so we're gonna put four on each side. And of course we need a glue dot for that, or several glue dots. So I'm just taking one and kind of stretching it and laying it across in here and see how many claws I can get to uh, fit on this. And as I put the claws in, since I'm kind of laying this like a boat, uh, just go ahead and bend the claws up like that so that when you turn your um, crab over, his legs will be bent already. All right. So I used one glue dot and got two on that one. So I'm taking another glue dot and stretching it, and I'm going to put the other two on it. And again, I'm bending those legs up. So now you see I have four legs on this side, and I'm going to do the same on the other side. So now I have eight legs. And it looks like this on the inside. And now I'm going to take my cardboard piece and I'm going to lay a couple glue dots on the outside edges of this cardboard, hoping that they will hold to what's here in the center. So I'm just stretching some glue dots to go around the edges. Ooh. wants to stick to my fingers. Okay, so you can see I have put glue all the way around with the glue dots and now I'm going to lay it on top of my legs like this. And just press down so that it sticks to the pipe cleaner. So you end up with a bottom like this and a top like this. And you can wiggle your claws around till you've got them where you want them. This is my crab. And I want to pull these legs out a little bit this way because I'm going to make a refrigerator magnet out of this and I want to be able to put it up against the refrigerator. So my next step is to take my sticky magnet and put it across on the cardboard and there you have it. You can stick that to your refrigerator and you have this cute little crab that you made. So that's it for this week's episode of Craft Corner Kits to Go. And we'll see you next week.